Hello, all of you free energy lovers out there. I have been working on a gravity powered um, engine is what I like to call it, um, to create power. And ideally I'm looking to create more power than I consume to run it. So uh, I just wanted to show you what I got. Right here is the basic machine. Um, you have a single shaft through the center. I have a contact um, cam style for my uh, power, um, and it is run by compressed air. So this is currently hooked up to my air compressor. Um, I'm not powering it by itself currently. I'm just using my air compressor for uh, demonstration purposes. This is a hollow shaft. Air goes in to the middle, and I have a outlet there that it supplies to both uh, cylinders, air cylinders. Um, so the idea of this is, as it crosses top dead center, it makes contact and that weight pushes in. Back in again. As it goes past top dead center, that weight pushes out. I have air uh, cylinder there and I have springs there to pull the weight back in towards center. This metal frame here is just a uh, slide with little metal bearings in there. And it just slides in and out like that. So with my uh, timing right there, as I cross top dead center, Top one goes out, and the bottom one pulls back in. Actually, there it's out, goes to the bottom, pulls back in, top one goes out. And that makes this thing want to fall on this side because it is heavier on this side than the other side. And you can see it just wants to spin. And this will run off of approximately uh, about 15 PSI. And as it's running, I've guessing it's running at about 75 to 100 RPMs at top speed. Um, let me turn the air pressure down just a little bit. And the idea is that as it starts spinning, uh, centrifugal force wants to pull the weights out, um, which at a certain speed, they will pull out and it will overcome the spring tension and the weights will stay out, therefore it's balanced and not creating any more power. So it slows down until the springs start pulling the weights back in. So at that sweet spot of where the centrifugal force is almost overcoming the spring tension, it only takes a very small amount of energy to push that weight out past that spring tension. And therefore, once it gets up to speed, it's a lot more efficient. Um, the only other thing I would like to do is add another set of weights um, to this rather than having only two weights. Uh, the problem with having only two weights is there is a dead spot at top dead center. It is not creating any power. So adding an additional weight on each side here would eliminate that dead spot and it would creates more than twice as much power because it's eliminating dead spot plus adding two more weights. Um, so this is what I got. Here's another quick look. It's very simple. Weight goes straight in and out. No other mechanics other than the air um, cylinder pushing that weight out and the springs pulling it back in. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, I will keep you updated once I get an air compressor hooked up to this drive shaft, and we will see um, how much power it can put out. Thanks for watching.